Hello and welcome back. I am Soma and if you're here for the first time, well, hello and welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. I make videos on personal development which is more about creativity, motivation and getting things done. So if you're the kind of person who is starting your career or you're interested um, just randomly on personal development, then this channel is for you. If you're also the kind of person who is in mid-level in your career and you feel stagnated and you're trying to explore life, career options and things to, um, things to get done, then this channel is probably also for you well i do talk about more elaborately about the channel the five-year plan and the things and who, a little bit about me as well in a video that i did last week i'll definitely put it in the description box below okay so do check it out so for today i thought we'll do something fun now what if you're really in a personal development journey the thing that you need the most in life is time you need time to focus you need time to get things done you need time to have your act and your mind and everything gathered right so um my theory is i you know as a regular person and a mom i'm trying to also get my regular life going parallelly on at the same time so the only way i can get it done is if i have my life pretty much organized and by organization i mean there are things that i do obviously you know like everybody else you cook clean do everything else for your family but also at the same time i do have some cheats and hacks which means i have a lot of store box products that i keep in handy all the time in my pantry to make sure that you know some days when i want to have a cheat meal or a quick meal um, things get done way faster so like um usual get yourself a cup of tea coffee or your favorite drink and we'll get started all right so I'm going to start with the food products first and then we're going to move into other categories all, all right all right and this is going to be I think a pretty long video so I hope you like the products and let's get started so the first one I'm going to show you here is the wheat soba noodles and um, I buy it from Qmart it's called the sakura soba noodles all right and the reason I like it is you, like any other noodles, you basically boil it and then you can saute it with your veggies of your choice. It's very good as cold noodles, which means even if you have nothing in the house, but you're you know, trying to have like a late night meal or you just want to relax it and watch your favorite Netflix show. Um, instead of putting on the popcorn, maybe you can use the soba noodles and just mix it with oil and soy sauce and then put in the boiled soba noodles, mix it well. You can have it directly hot or you can even put it in the fridge and have it an hour later. It is amazing. So this is one of my favorites. All right. We have a couple of noodles here. The next one I'm going to show you is what I use. I'm going to take the rubber band off. All right. Now this is a rice noodles. It's a product of Thailand, again bought from Qmart. I'll just show you how it looks. So this, this is the noodles, right? This is the entire packet of it. All you do is you boil it in a pot of water like every other noodles. Put a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick together and then throw in your favorite veggies and you can saute it. Um, I also like to make like Thai curries and then I'll throw in the noodles instead of making rice and it tastes like amazing. All right, third noodles this is i don't know if you can see it's like paper thin so for this one you don't even oh this is probably a better shot so you don't even have to boil the noodles all you have to do is boil water put this noodles in a vessel or a bowl and then add the water to it and literally a minute and then it's done so if you keep it more than that it's going to like be like in bits and pieces so um just a minute and then take it out and then add your favorite veggies to it and then it's that's it it's done this is also a great way a great product to use if you like having um, rice paper rolls so you just have this ready have your veggies cut them you know have keep them prepped and then use a rice paper and use that and get it done so it's much more filling all right now because I mentioned rice paper rolls I'm going to talk about there you go I'm not sure which angle doesn't reflect the light so anyway, so um, let's show you one. So this is almost like see-through. Can you see? All right. Has a little bit of um, edgy thing here. So all you do is take a bowl of water where the whole thing can dip in. And then you just put it in a couple of seconds turn it around a couple of seconds it will become soft and very very malleable and then you just put your noodles or your veggies or anything that you have and you just roll it up like like a chapati and this is amazing just dipped in sauce 
amazing for um, your snacks, for yourself, your family, or for your kids. Now this is random. I <laughs> um, this is just ramen noodles, and I thought I wanted to mention it because I am mostly a Maggie person, but this one I really liked because I I don't know. I, I went to the store; they didn't have any Maggie, and I got the ramen one. I just have it handy sometimes because sometimes late nights, um, if I'm up like I was last night watching uh, a movie on Netflix and I wanted to have Maggie so I had it. It was very very good. It's used and I loved it. It says it's a uh, new masala noodles. Masala maza. Um, it's not spicy as in it's not tikha but it's like it has a lot of spice in it. So if you like the kind of food that has flavor in it, um, this definitely is for you. One more noodles product I swear. Now I'm sure everybody knows about why why the reason I'm mentioning it here is because I've, you know, I've mentioned so many noodle products. Why not this? Um, this is a lot of nostalgia for me because when I was in hostel, like really long ago, I was introduced to YY, okay, in college, and um, I figured out, or my friend who introduced me to YY said that you can even have it raw. So you take out all the masala packet and the oil packet that comes with it, and you basically mix it up, and it is amazing raw. Like you don't have to boil or cook. Um, I like that version as well and of course I like it cooked as well so sometimes you know out of nostalgia if I see YY I probably you know buy a packet or two now another quick store bought box product I will usually have is a um, packet of soups the reason I have them is sometimes when you're like sort of hungry but not like you don't want to have like a full meal um, you can just have soup and have it in your teacup and just sip it on um, I like that too. Sometimes I will have a bowl of soup and throw in some pasta or noodles or veggies and it's like a complete meal or snack or sometimes even dinner for my kid. Um, I usually will have the nor soups, uh, the tomato one, the chicken corn soup and things like that, the small packets. But sometimes once in a while I like it a bit fancy. Probably more for me than for anybody else. And this is, as you can see, Tom Yam soup paste. Um, this is also bought from Qmart and I like it because I like more I, I like Thai food so um, you just bring it to boil and then you put a little bit of paste and then you can add a lot of it so it says you can put lemongrass with prawns and mushrooms and blah blah stuff coriander um, my favorite part is that you can add coconut milk and it's yummy all right I always have I basically maintain a pantry okay so my pantry has all these products that I use once in a while and coconut milk is one of them um, because most of the people in my family family really like prawn curry so um, coconut milk is always there so I use two kinds I have this with me right now so I'm showing this I also use the dabar carton one that a small one that comes I don't have it with me as of now but this is the Cara coconut cream it is 400 ml and I always have it I have one open in the fridge because I cooked like a prawn curry two days ago uh, yeah good reminder i got to use that as well so um yeah you just got to open this and this tastes amazing as well when in your soups or if you're cooking anything asian like a thai curry and things like that or even like prawn curry so um i also do another i don't know what the name is but it's like basically with a bottle gourd and you can put in your um coconut cream and it tastes amazing i have right now is the peaches one and um if you're the kind of person who likes to have a peach and a scoop of vanilla ice cream, this is amazing. So this comes specially handy when you have a guest at home. I mean, I guess because of the COVID situation, we don't have a lot of guests right now. But I usually have them because if you have a guest and you're trying to do a desert and you don't have anything at home, then this is amazing. If you just have a box of um, vanilla ice cream, this works great. I will also sometimes have mixed fruit ones because it works great for a punch. All right what do we have next <laughs> like all moms I need I, I do make pizza and pasta once in a while and um, when I'm lazy and I don't want to make my own sauce I use the Viba one it's a pasta and pizza pasta and pizza sauce and it's a red sauce it's good I also like the white white version of it I don't think I have it right now but I do have the ragu white sauce which is the creamy basil alfredo sauce um, yeah so they all work great in the kitchen when you just want to have a lazy day now um, I like chocolate 
like everybody else and I have a weakness for chocolate but I know it's always not good and I try my I try to ensure that my son doesn't get a lot of sweet tooth because then if your palate changes once it's very difficult to control anybody right like forget about a kid so instead of giving him the regular you know Cadbury's and stuff I sometimes buy this is a slab of cocoa dark chocolate which is 55% dark chocolate okay so I think I got two bars one was 70% and this is 55 I am usually not a fan of dark chocolates to be very honest I mean I never grew up having chocolates as in dark chocolates I know I have like people in my friends and office and colleagues who really like love dark chocolate but I am really not one of them but I started trying dark chocolates in little bit of amount and this one wasn't as bitter I had the 70% one as well now this is also from Qmart and I really really liked it um, so you can like melt it make it into like a um, you can dip your bananas or strawberries in chocolate and have them but I just we it's very difficult to break so it's not like a regular Cadbury where you can break you really oh it broke <laughs> so um, we just broke it you can't really basically break it into multiple smaller pieces so I had to take like a like a knife and then cut it out but I think this is way better than having a lot of sugary chocolate. I really would like to preserve my son's palate so he doesn't get into eating a lot of junk food or sugary food. Okay. Um, the price of this is uh, to 40 rupees and uh, um, once in a while we all crave like cakes and um, I think before the pre-COVID era I didn't mind sometimes ordering when we were trying to have I would I mean there are specific places where I would order the cakes but right now because I'm trying I'm trying to avoid um, I'm trying not to order cakes when my kid wants it or there are birthdays and all um, this is just the Betty Crocker regular one I have a triple chocolate brownie and I have a French vanilla and um, I just bake them at home so um, yeah I think um, chocolate is everybody's favorite at home but I like vanilla so the plain old vanilla <laughs> the product the only healthy product um, I think I have so I started having a lot of seeds and nuts um, during uh, specifically now because you know we're all home and we're trying to uh, boost up our immune system and also I did have flax seeds for a really long time high in omega-3 high fiber high protein um, I think this is 150 rupees. I had it for a while, but it was somewhere hidden in the kitchen. So I took it out and I'm just putting it on salads and things like that. Sometimes even on veggies, like only for me, when I have it with my roti and all, I'll just put them, sprinkle them on. Uh, and the only drink product that I have today is my recently found new sparkling water called Boca. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know if I've mentioned I really like fizzy products like there was a point of time where I was really addicted to the fizz so I would once in a while I mean not well <laughs> I would lie if I say once in a while I used to have pretty often even when I knew it was bad for my health um, coke or thumbs up okay so I'm trying to cut down on it and I've cut down a lot so I figured out if I <clears throat> if I want the fizz I have to replace it so I tried Perrier water for a while because I just wanted to see what it was all about but it is so expensive so this is one third the price but it has the fizz so sometimes at night I'll just have put some ice cubes like three four ice cubes in a glass and pour it on sometimes I'll put a little bit of chaat masala and throw in a lemon and I'll have it so you get the fizz but probably cut out the bad effects of having all those cokes colas and sugar okay so couple more food products oh my god don't fall so if you like sushi and I showed you recently that I have been trying to make sushi at home and I did make it didn't turn out great because I did not use sticky rice I just used the normal you know rice and it sort of <laughs> is falling apart I know I should buy sushi rice but I just don't want to buy and then you know store it somewhere when I don't use for a longer period of time so this is like nori rolls the seaweeds that you get and basically you can put your rice and the whatever you want to put and roll it and have like sushi like cut it in pieces this is also great as a snack um, what I did not know before and I've recently learned from seeing multiple YouTube channels is you can roast it in an um, tawa or a pan and then I think it 
will crisp it up and it will be much more delicious to have um i know it's a weird food for a lot of people but i really like sushi and i like the taste of nori rolls um it is a little bit expensive so i think this is like 349 rupees and i forgot how many sheet was in it because i've used it okay so i think it has 10 sheets or something like that and it's like 28 grams the net weight but i like it and it's um very very thin of course so you can either use it in while making sushi you can just have it as a snack or you can if you're having like a, a tuna rice or a salmon rice bowl um you can cut them off and shred them into pieces and have them as well now that is what i have recently figured out and i like it so i'm not sure if you're into you know what let me know if you really like sushi or these kind of food then we know we are just into the same palate or something like that so it's yummy now let me just say i did not know i mean i knew there were different kinds of soy sauces but i really never understood the difference between a light soy sauce and a dark soy sauce so while i was shopping for in amazon for the soy sauce i figured this one has a lot of good ratings but this is um, premium dark soy sauce okay this is lee kum ki hong kong and i really liked it okay so i thought i'll give it a try and this is very very good so if you're the kind of person who likes the taste or flavor of soy sauce trust me try this because it's so so good it has a much more intense flavor it like stays the taste stays with you um but if you're not the kind of person who likes soy sauce or wants to avoid it then you know by no means please don't buy this all right the last two food products that i have is tea now this one is the organic chamomile flower tea that i got from the indian chai okay um this is the real flower i don't know if i can show you so it comes like in a can and when you oh my god oh, it's intense the flower can you see yeah so if you're the kind of person who likes tea which has a different aroma or flavor to it this is for you Um, I don't think you drink it with milk. Now, this is something I will have uh, in the evening, so sometimes even at night. I really like chamomile tea. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel for the last few weeks, you know I am recently into Darjeeling tea. Um, I have been trying a lot of Darjeeling teas in a lot of places. This one is amazing. This is Twinings of London Darjeeling loose leaf. I have been trying to avoid buying those dip dip things because you know it has plastic in it and I don't want to have them so this comes in a tin container it's almost gone but it is so good it smells good by itself but when you make tea it's like literally light golden color and you don't need to steep it for too long or I don't like it very karwa as always and this is this has been one of my favorites uh, the tea i'm drinking i think every evening right now so yep very very favorite all right we're done with food products okay so i know it was a lot of food products so let's see what we can get into okay let's start with um, i don't literally have beauty products but it's sort of like bath hygiene and beauty products okay all right so we're going to start first start with sanitizers now i I know it's weird like why would you talk about sanitizers but I have all kinds of sanitizers by now but what I wanted to talk about you know these small tiny containers I don't know if you have them or anything else when they are done don't throw them away because we're using so much of sanitizers these days that's why I buy in bigger um, bulk bottles right now so you obviously can't carry them so keep these so you can transfer them into these small containers and then carry it in your bag um the other one Let's try. If you're the kind of person who wants to feel relaxed at home, I think for me it's like if I'm having a particularly stressful day, whatever the reason may be, I like to I like to end the day with a like a really relaxing warm bath. And um I have recently found the aroma therapy by Bath and Body Works and they had a sale so I bought them. Um the first one is rose and vanilla which right now looks a little dirty because it is in my shower and um i really love it i mean if you're the kind of person who like i don't i like rose but i don't like the intense flavor of rose but this one this one is so light and i mentioned already i love vanilla flavor so i think the rose and the vanilla together is very very relaxing and calming and i absolutely love it the other one that i got is 
um, jasmine and sandalwood now i haven't used it yet i've just snipped it so so there you go let's try once more i think what i like about this aromatherapy range is at least the two that i have seen so this is jasmine and sandalwood but when you smell it you don't have like an overwhelming smell of either jasmine or sandalwood but if you like these kind of flavors i mean choose what you like i like jasmine and sandalwood both and they sort of have struck a very good balance um, in the aroma part of it obviously this is the aromatherapy range um, it is just very relaxing and very good the one last thing this is also bath and body work is the bubble bath so this is well lavender and vanilla no guesses uh, guesses there it's luxury bath with natural essential oil okay so this one is also very very good so this i use it in the tub and it's extremely good and very very relaxing so this is these are the bath products for um the only hair product that i'm going to mention is from kama ayurveda it's called the uh, bringadi intensive hair treatment now um I have been having a lot of hair fall for the past couple of years uh, to the extent it's a joke now that I have to start looking for a wig in Amazon um, probably not a joke because I was really looking for a wig in Amazon because I was having so much hair fall and I probably was thinking that I really need to get a wig because my you know every time I take a shower or I shampoo or even when I sleep I get up and it's like half my hair has fallen off my head so um i tried different things and i've tried the onion hair oil the curry patta hair oil like pretty much everything and then there are products that have saved me um and i think um i mean we can talk about it later in some other video but this one i recently bought and uh, it's very very good it had very good review uh, i bought it from nika and then i've used it a couple of times um, i don't shed my hair as much as i used to shed it before um but so, so i don't know if this is working or not as well but um this has definitely been okay product for me so it says prescribed in ayurveda for lush hair growth and to prevent hair loss dandruff and premature graying naturally conditioning 100% natural 250 ml made in india so yeah it's um it's good it's good and i really like it so far i had to mention a little bit of sparkle right um this is from uh west side i think the nail polishes are like now 99 rupees i don't know how it was before i haven't used it but i thought i don't use a lot of nail polish as you can see i don't like a lot of how can i say glitter sparkle and too much attention on me but sometimes i use it once in a while and oh smells like nail polish but you know what we can try it's called sparkle lp24 okay i just try that and i'm going to show you so this does not color which i like so if you're the kind of person who is like me who doesn't um like to use a lot of nail polish but sometimes you want to just put on something sparkly see this is sparkly i don't know if you can see the light is too much i guess i don't know how to show it can you see this is just sparkling so basically it's just a liquid transparent nail polish with little bit of sparkle so i guess you can use it on top of another nail polish as a topper if you want a little bit of sparkle um or if you're the kind of person who doesn't wear a lot of nail polish especially in your like hands fingers like that you can just use it because it doesn't attract a lot of attention it doesn't show you're wearing nail polish but it sparkles once in a while so this is like amazing okay okay um one last beauty product now if you're looking for a gift to give to your brother dad husband boyfriend whoever i really like this product so there it is this is the only product probably i have um for men and this is forest essentials luxurious ayurveda so basically when you open it up i hope it doesn't fall but there you go it comes with Welcome to the world of Ayurveda blah blah stuff you take it off and this one is a sandalwood and orange peel range okay what it has is a face wash a after shave and a facial moisturizer now this is the face wash i have been meaning to try it for a really long time 
this one smells more of sandalwood and like really intense sandalwood now because i like both sandalwood and orange orange peel smell i bought this um i'm not sure how long this will linger if you wash your face sorry wash <laughs> wash your face with this but i do know that the aftershave has a very intense smell so if you are planning to buy this and if you want to use it i think little goes a long way um, the range is very good i like the smell but as it can be a little bit intense um, the moisturizer I'm trying to open it um, uh, damn i dropped it on my cloth so can you see I somehow feel it smells a lot more of sandalwood than of orange peel. So if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to reek of sandalwood when you're walking along or meeting somebody else, then it's not your cup of tea. But if you like to but if you like sandalwood then this is perfect for you i liked how compact it was and the fact that i mean um, they are small small size products it's not probably full size but it's a great gift if you like i think they have in other uh, ranges as well as in other profiles of aroma okay so you can try that as well i like it though all right um i will talk a little bit about the baby products that i've been using i just have three and then i'm done so i i mean this i use this also as well so if you're kind of person who doesn't like a lot of smell or want to keep your skincare very basic then avino baby is very very good i will put it on my son when he's going to bed i sometimes just put it on for me as well and i like it because it is fragrance free and it's very very how can i say it's rich but it's not oily so um it works really well for me and i will probably buy it again it says soothes and relieves dry skin even dry sensitive skin moisturizes for 24 hours and it is true the other two things i don't know if you need them but i keep them handy is my anti mosquito rolls i have one from mama earth it's like really small both of them very tiny and this one is godrej fabric roll on good night okay so sometimes because um it's monsoon and you'll probably see a lot of mosquitoes and um it's always good to be safe so sometimes i will yeah put a couple of dots for my kid and then when he goes to bed works for everyone works for us as well that is i think all i have for skin care products now let's move to random accessories okay you still there with me all right we'll start with this cute stuff so this is obviously a hot water bag i have the regular duck bag hot water bag that probably every household has um this one i bought because i really have like a neck problem i i i know you sit in front of the computer for a long period of time you probably get it so uh, instead of putting water in that entirely big uh, duck bag red hot water bag i thought i wanted something small that i can quickly you know put a little bit of water and then obviously roll it in some towel or cloth and then put it in my back and relax um this works very very well and it's good uh, and i have used it couple of times so obviously you just open this up pour the water and seal it back bought from amazon really good what else do i have random stuff okay oh what else do you surround yourself with now that we're not going to work we all work from home so i thought i have started using um cloth bags mostly because one you can wash them if you need to sanitize them so um plus i don't know i like the casualness of it like when i'm going out with my mask on i really don't care who's seeing me doesn't matter i'm just trying to get the job done and come back home if i'm going out i barely barely go out so this is a bag that i got from miniso it's a little bit on the thicker side it is cloth feels more like jute and this part is obviously not cloth and it says friday okay can you see here yeah, friday um doesn't have any chain or anything it's just a regular bag but it holds a lot of stuff and it's really really good but the reason i use it now is that you can wash them whenever you need it that is one uh the other bag i have been recently using this is from west side is just a basic black and white bag you can use it as a crossbody or a sling and um 
yeah it just opens and it has a lot of space this one inside is like a zipped one and then it has enough space for you to carry your basic stuff even that cloth bag folded in when you're going out to get some grocery or just running for errand and things like that um all right i think this is about it i i hope you like it i i hope it helps you i think treat this video as more of a reference video I, I think everyone has a system in place where you keep your life put together or you have a system how you organize or keep your pantry your life your things organized so you are efficient you are also um, doing what you need to do you are also relaxed at the same time so you have the time when you have the time to sit back for yourself and whether you are trying to finish up an online course or you're trying to write or hustle or do anything else you are much more relaxed you know everything has been taken care of and you are ready to focus on what you are supposed to work on so um let me know if there are any products that you use and you find it very handy to have around the house or you find it very helpful for you so um thank you once again for joining in and if you're still watching well thank you very very much if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you like the content please do subscribe it means the world to me and do hit the bell button because that's how you get the notification uh, thank you once again bye bye